What's up, everybody? My name is Dash. I'm Dawn. And this is my YouTube channel, Dow Slippin. So, today is Saturday, November the 6th of 2021. And this is our haul video. So, I'm going to show you all the stuff we got today at garage sales and a few thrift stores. So, let's get right into things. The first thing I want to show you, um, I don't know his name. I thought it was Ric Flair. But we looked it up and it's not Ric Flair. But... This little dude, I think he looks like a, a, a macho Jerry Seinfeld. What's the difference between me and this guy with bigger tits? I don't know. Other than Jerry Seinfeld never made me any money, this guy hopefully will. I paid $2 for him at a thrift store, but I got a $2 discount, so he was technically free. He's a 2003 Jack Pacific um, wrestling figure, so they can go for $10, they can go for $60. We don't know. Definitely know he's not in the Hulk Hogan. No. Um, I got this cool machete at a yard sale for $5. It did come in a case, but <laughs> as you can see, um, whoever used it obviously didn't understand that it has a serrated back and a blade on the front. And so it, it's really loved. And I tried to put it back in there at the garage sale when I got it. I'm just going to leave it out and take it outside and, um, excuse me, cut up some boxes with it. Cause why not? Why not? It's fun to do. Um, let's see what else we got. Now, I saw one of these yesterday, and she laughed at me when I found this. It's a Scream VHS, which is a Bolo. VHS is a Scream. I would let uh, my lovely woman here quote something from it, but this video is not monetized anyways. It's not for kids. Not at all. But uh, that's one of her favorite movies. This one is better than the one I sold yesterday for $12. Mm -hmm. This is a $20 to $25 copy because of the cover. It's the what? The original cover. Oh, yeah, that one? Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one was the VHS release or something like that. Uh, I don't know. There's some kind of controversy with it. It had all the people on it, so I remember. Someone's taken their love of scary movies one step too far. What? <gasps> What'd you put a scary movie? Don't Oh, I thought you were asking me. <laughs> all right. There was a... It wasn't a church sale. It was some kind of weird... Fraternal organization sale that one of my mom's friends told me about. Uh, I got this cool little cup. It's a cra It says craps on it, and it's got dice in it. And uh, I got it for my friend for Christmas. So that's cool. It's fifty cents. Anybody? How? With two W's. But it's it's cool because you know you're drinking, you know you're rolling the dice. I don't know if it's worth anything. If it is, if it's worth more than. I'm what I'm gonna, you know, give my friend for Christmas, and it's gonna go on eBay. Uh, I paid five dollars for a Microsoft Xbox 360 Connect, and two Xbox 360 controllers which aren't in that bag. So they're in one of these bags. So we'll find those in a minute. But I mean, the Connect itself is worth twenty dollars. The controllers are worth five to ten, mm -hmm. and I have several Xbox 360s which have not sold yet. So Christmas is coming, guys. Buy your kids an Xbox 360. Now. I thought this was something for CB radios, but it is a CDE antenna rotator, which I believe it is for CB radios. Um, it has north, south, east, and west. I thought it was electronic compass, but it is a Model XL1 control module. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> it has four ports for your CB radios. And what it does is it calibrates your antennas. I have yet to test it to see if it actually works, but there is a reset, master reset down here. I know because my granddad and I used to do CB radio when I was a kid. That anything CB radio related sells very well. I paid five dollars for this, and it will definitely bring forty to fifty to forty to sixty dollars if it works. If not, I can sell it for probably thirty dollars for parts, which is better than nothing, right? Sorry, again, allergies today is not a a good day. I got these little toys at an, uh, a garage sale. Like, this is the first one I went to. Yep. It's a Clone Wars action figure. I don't know his name, but he's from Star Wars The Clone Wars. He looks kind of like my dad with blonde hair. Pissed off. Um, I don't know who he is. He's some kind of clone trooper or general. Uh, 2006 LFL Hasbro. Lucasfilm Limited. That's what that means. Uh, I do good with these toys. I sold a Luke Skywalker. Oh, he pivots really nice, too. Look at that. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> Out. Yeah, somebody let the lemurs out. We'll tell you about that at the end of the video. Um, yeah, that could be a $5 figure or a $25 figure. I'm not sure. Of course, he's missing his weapons and his helmet. Um, I got Batman and the Joker. They are Maginex from 
2008 Fisher Price Imagine X little toys. Uh, they do really, really well, especially when you bundle them together like that. Um, this is also, I thought it was an Imagine X figure. It's definitely not Lego. I don't really know what it is. 2008 LFL Lucasfilms Limited. It's uh, Django Fett. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. He's an awesome little toy. I don't know. It looks like a Roblox. I don't, I have no idea. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. And then this is cool. Ben 10 Accelerate figure from 2006. His uh, face shield. Maybe it's the Ultra Alien version. Because Accelerate should have eyes. He's got a helmet on. He's the whatever in Ben 10 when they evolve again. Because he is going clear like that. He's a special figure. It says Cartoon Network 2008 Ban 2006 Bandai. But um, I love Ben 10 and I love buying the toys because they always sell and they sell for good money. I actually sold one last night, Stinkfly, $18. One figure. I got the garage for 50 cents. Can't beat that. All right. My lovely lady found these two things. You want to talk about them for me? Oh, I don't even know what the heck they are. I don't either, but, you know. No, um, stumbled across this beauty. It's a log dump station. It's a log dump station. New inbox. Not a toilet. It's a log dump That's station. That's right. With the side dump flat car. I don't um, even speak Korean. <laughs> the only foolproof <laughs> travel for taxes. For dumping your logs. <laughs> oh, no. And this one is called the Operating Coal Trippy? Triply? Tippy? Tipply? Uh, Tipply? Um, there's some kind of weird wannabe Lionel. Yeah. Lifelike trains. They're both sealed new in package. They were two three dollars a piece. And this one sold for forty. And that one was fifteen to twenty, I think. Twenty five. Mm -hmm. So for six dollars it's a nice little pickup. And I mean the packaging is a little um I don't use the word damaged, but there are imperfections on the packaging for sure. Um, but yeah, for three dollars. Good sixty dollar profit. Not bad. All right, let's see what else we got. Now, speaking of trains, planes, and automobiles, I found this. It's a Lionel train booklet. Um, field guide for 1945 to 1969 locomotives. Lionel is the best builder of toys. They are made in the USA. They've been making them since the early 1900s. And um, you're not going to find a better model train or a toy. And this is a, a book. Originally, it cost $12.99. I paid $0.80 cents for it, and it will sell for about $20. Oh, I didn't stick to my head. Did you learn, I learned not to do that. <laughs> now this is cool. Um, we got this for ourselves. We've taken up golfing. Um, it was ninety nine cents. Uh, it's top flight. There's some. I, I just. I, I, I'm so new to the sport of golf that I don't even know they're tees. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> they're tees. Uh, looks like eight tees and two balls. Uh, we just need the tees because I like to tee off from the tee instead of from the ground. But either way, I'm probably hitting the dirt no matter what. So it's not a big deal. It was only 99 cents and it was a nice little pickup. Okay. I found this in like a miscellaneous section. It is um, a bolo item if you're into anime or know anything about anime or have ever seen a cartoon naked. I don't know. Um, it's Robotech, the complete collection, new generation. It is episodes... 61 through 85 it was 80 cents it's worth about 40 dollars it's a, what three or four four dvds and it has the informational brochure little pamphlet thing subscribe by mail become a weeaboo if you don't know what that means look it up i don't recommend it better than clopping you know what that means no don't look that up either please <laughs> liz if you're watching i'm sorry you know what that is um, yeah, nice little pickup for 80 cents, turn into 20 to 30, 40 bucks. Uh, I always price my stuff lower than anybody else's because I like money. Now, this is something my lovely lady found, and I'll let her talk about it. Oh, Mad Dog McCree. It was a uh, very popular PC game back in the day. But did you play Mario Typing Tutor? No. There was a game with Mario from Nintendo and Typing Tutor. Oh my gosh, this is like so cool. It looks a little different, obviously. Oh, it's remastered for the Wii. Oh, look, and it's got three games in one. So it's, it's a four-player shooter? <gasps> Mad Dog 2, The Lost Gold, and The Last Bounty Hunter. Well, first of all, tell them how much we paid for it. Um, it was, what, $6? Yeah. 
Yeah, so six, seven bucks, and it will bring in about 60, 50 to 60, 65. It is complete with original manual. That dog McCree looks like he needs to. He looks like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia with a hat on. He kind of does. It was a fun game, though. It was the only one out of all the Wii games, and it's, it's in really good condition. Um, I think we should play it first. I want to. Yeah? Yeah. Get the Wii guns out? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not House of the Dead, but... Hey, my dog McCree was good for us. I can't time. say what I want to say because the lawyers... Oh. I don't enjoy shooting people. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's what it says on here. I'm just reading what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it's his job. He's not law. All right. Now, this is cool. This is part of the thing I got for $5 of the machete. Um, I don't know. It's really cool. It's from Durango, Mexico. It's a little a wall hanger. And it's a scorpion. I guess you hang your keys on it or dead fish. I don't know. <laughs> There's probably not any water in Durango, Mexico. But it's a scorpion. It's like taxidermized. It's really cool. It's in glass. Um, with all the um, people that came from Mexico here in Texas, um, they're really big on their you know heritage and they put it on their trucks and their cars and stuff like that. So... I don't know. I kind of want to keep it. Bring old home to new home. Right? I mean, it's really cool. I mean, she's freaked out by it, but it's a really cool thing. It's got a wooden back on it. It's not like a quality built by anything. It's just like hot glued on some rope and some tethering, but it is definitely cool to have a scorpion from Durango, Mexico. Uh, I don't know. I paid $5 for it. Um, I'm on S80? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know now, this is something I'm keeping for myself. I got this at an antique store um, this past week, and I've forgotten about it, so I'm going to show you now. I love Coca-Cola. Yeah. There's no Coca-Cola on that door. But I do. I'm, I'm a Coca-Cola freak. I got this nice pen set from the 1930s. It's Santa Claus, which actually is a, is a trademark of Coca-Cola. Didn't know if you knew that. It is. Look it up. Um, they wanted 50 bucks for it. I think I got it for 30 Mm-hmm. And I'm going to keep it because I not only collect pins, but I love Coca-Cola. And it's really, really cool. It's in this like nice picture frame kind of thing. And the guy who, who did this, yeah, it did it really bad because it's supposed to be the other way around. But either way, oh, I just, I just broke it. That's how old it is. That's okay. You got glue. I got glue and tape. Mm -hmm. I'm the king of tape. That's right. If I you just, ever order anything from me, you know that. Uh, buy some stuff on my eBay. It'll be taped so good you can't get it open. That's right. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Oh, oh well. B-R-O-K-E -E broken. Um, we got another Wii game here. <sighs> Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. Uh, I don't know how fun or not fun it may be, but it was 80 cents and it brings about $12. So um, it, it is really scratched. And if you said it, it's... Uh, yeah. Play. It might play. If not, we have a JFJ Easy Pro. Right. And if not, uh, somebody will buy in the yard sale for a dollar. Let's talk about this real quick. If I can pick it up. Ooh. Get off the cord. Now, we got all this for $10 at the community uh, sale. So, you talk about this one first. Oh my god. That's a lot, of, lot to unfold here. Yeah, so this is the Argus camera. Screw that to open that up. No, you don't. I did because I screwed it so it doesn't fall out. Oh. Yeah. But it comes in a cool little carrying case. See? You screwed it. Mmm. Mmm. That's cool. I learned something new today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's. It's from the 60s, I think. That's what she said. 50s or 60s. We can't get it open. I, mm -hmm. I believe there's film in it. I'm not that kind of doctor. No, but we can look up how to open it because I know it has to open that way. It has to, but it, it, it's like... Maybe there's like something you put in there. It's really. stuck, but we got all this for $10. The camera by itself or part sells for 100 We've got the case and then it came with like this. Oh yeah, the little Argus C3 flash guide. And there's um, light bulbs in there too. I don't know. In here? Yeah. Oh, it's rusted. Yeah. Um... Oh, it looks, look, it goes in right here, look. It's rusted really bad. Say cheese. Blind. Chuck E. Cheese. But they're well going. 
Oh, they do not. They're General Electric flash tips. So they, they're the things that go in your light bulb and they, they look like they're warped really bad. Yeah, Ooh, cool. Okay. Those look worse. Mm -hmm. They look, look like Christmas lights. Kinda. With milky residue on it. Oh no, this is really cool. It this is like very cool. Yeah. Hot or something. I don't know what happened. Yeah, there's a little imperfection here on the back. Gives a character. I don't know about that. <laughs> It's definitely cool. So worst case scenario, we make 80 to 100 bucks on that. Oh, cool. Yeah, it tells you how to do it. So it's got color film, yellow settings, black and white film with red settings. Flash synchronizes at green. Smutters, uh, shutter speed set. Wow, I thought it was better reading. I couldn't read that. It's in German? No, because look, I have to pull that thing back. The struggle continues. Now this is cool. Oh, I opened it. Oh, look at that. No film. <laughs> this is a Kodak Pocket Instamatic 10 camera, and it's got a cool little patriotic thing here, and you like look at it like this, and then you can't see it. Oh, it's over here. That's why I can't see it. I've got two or three of these. This is a mini pocket camera. Works the same kind of way. You point, click, and shoot. It's up here. Uh, what else is in there? We got an Instamatic X15. That's where Instagram came from, I guess. Um, Oh, did it work? Mm -mm. Oh, it does work. That's cool. It's Kodak, made in USA. Don't know nothing about it, but for ten dollars, knowing that that one camera could bring a hundred dollars, I, I had to do it. it smelled like the 60s. Never smelled the sixties. This is a Kodak um, camera. I don't know. It doesn't have a model number on it, but it's definitely cool. Looks like a Polaroid. And I don't know. That's exactly what it is. I had one that was a Spice Girls camera when I was a kid. I was in the Spice Girls. I was the Spice Boy. Why are you laughing? You're just jealous because you weren't in it. No. I was part of the Nukes on the Block. Somewhere. Oh, new kids on the block. <laughs> had a bunch of hits. This is a cool uh, Canon camera. It's called the Snappy S. Oh, cool. I don't know anything about it, but like I said, you know. I don't like that. You should did. Oh, is this a camera? Cool. What is this? I could not figure it's it called out. Pat Pending. What is this? What in the world does that even do? Nothing. It, I think it's broken. But it's I don't broken. Know. It's some kind of lens adaptive lights. I don't know. They can make it look enough. Yeah, we got some Manuel's. Show them. So got, that's a Snappy S. And then the Canon product guide. Looks like somebody might have whizzed on it. Limit warranty card. Let me see. Lawyers, that, that wasn't a display of violence. That was an accident. I don't know. Like all the children you have. Here Accidents. You hear that, lawyers? That's if you're Polish, smile. If not, just wave. I'm not Polish. I'm German. So I guess I'll be waving. Can't show you how I would wave because it might be considered hate speech. It's a joke. Calm down. We did get some really cool stuff for $10. We really did. Okay, what was. is that? <laughs> All right. Something just <laughs> fell over. <laughs> it looked like it was a, a it's $2.70 for some sunshade filter holder. Don't know what that means, but oh, it's no, definitely. Okay. Here, you put that back in. That's the snappy. Don't tell me I broke that. I got more stuff to go through. Um, this is cool. Uh, I thought it was G.I. Joe. I'm not sure what it is. It's a little car, and I put the man in there. I think the man is G.I. Joe. 2005, China. He looks like some kind of fighter pilot. <laughs> but I put him in this little car. Um, whether he goes in there or not, I don't know. It was 80, also 80 cents. It looks like rocket engines. It's like the most fun go car you can get. If you're gonna die, die with a rocket engine. It looks like stuff on Borderlands. Never played it. Oh, this is a cool little bolo thing. Oh, that's what the controllers are. I found the Xbox 360 controllers that I got with. Oh, the bad pack came out. Now, this is a bolo item I learned from Commonwealth Picker. Um, it's definitely cool. It's a little Halloween bucket. It's a pumpkin. I don't know why you want a blue one. Because it's cute? I guess. 
the the whole point is that you check the bottom of them. It says General Foam Plastics, Norfolk, Virginia, made in USA. They still oh, it's, that's what stinks. It smells like a dead fish. It's that was a. Mm, mm, you trying to, you know, father son get it out of my face. Um, ooh, it's definitely not pleasant. But this will bring twenty to thirty bucks right here. I got it for a dollar. So, um, yeah. I mean, Halloween just ended, but ooh, it, ooh, it's all over the place. I got some watches, um, and I know a lot about watches, but higher end watches, and these aren't really high end watches. I got. Ooh, it smells so bad. Oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Seiko uh, woman's watch. It is a model N100 OKG. It got a really pretty pink face on it. Very small um, watch for a woman. I don't think you could even wear that. I'm not saying you're a large woman. I'm just saying that that's for like a baby hand. I don't know. Now this one is cute. It's it stretches. It's a uh, Timex Expedition. I guess it could be a men's watch. If you're a small man. Uh, I don't know how much these are worth, but I do know how much this is worth. Uh, I got I paid a dollar a piece for all of these. This is an Invitica Divers Watch, model six nine nine eight. Um, I paid a dollar for it. The complete watch is worth three hundred dollars if it has the bracelet and everything like that. Um, the head of it alone probably is worth 60 to 80 so that's what I'm going to ask for. It does need a new battery. It doesn't work uh, fully, but I mean for a dollar, it's a good little pickup. Oh, it sure does stank. Okay, we have two more things to show you before we go today. Well, three actually. I'm going to show them that. It's case. What a lovely case. And inside the case. For $10, we got a compact VHS JVC Video Movie GR AX5. Has an eyepiece on it. Um, the camera itself was selling for $40, but we got the camera, the camera battery charger, and if you know anything about media and media mail, which is not supposed to ship non recorded media, media mail, but I'm a rebel. I do it anyways. Hit it, lawyers. Sue me. We got three unrecorded VHS C tapes for recordable media, and it looks like someone killed some astroturf or something. I don't know what. It was the piece that kept it safe. All that. Oh, stuff. yeah. It, it it shed badly in here. It's everywhere. Yes, it is. It's all over me too. Well, it's not still wool. I'm okay. But I paid $10 for that. I don't know how much I can get out of it. Uh, the other ones that had soul comps for the camera did not have a, a hard case like this. And what did they have? These, and these are 10 to 12 bucks a piece. I know that because I sell them about every six months. And when I do get the event that are sealed, they sell real fast. Eight to $12. So 40, let's say 20, that's 60, plus 10, 70, 100 bucks. Uh, $10, not bad. All right, we got one more thing, and it is very heavy. Oh, did you really pick it up? It's an old Emerson fan. Model number is 79648AX, made in St. Louis, Missouri, United States of America. The lady told us when we bought it that she had it restored, and it is, oh God, it's probably 35, 40 pounds. It's Hold it. Oh yeah. It's really heavy. Um, it's very old. Very cool. Initially, when I looked it up, they had no soul comps. Initially, it was all listed eight hundred, six hundred, five hundred dollars. But then I looked at soul comps, and they were selling for about two hundred bucks. That's including shipping. So it was like a hundred and something plus forty dollars shipping. The last one that sold actually sold three or four days ago. For seventy-five plus forty-five dollars shipping, so that comes out to what, hundred and thirty and forty bucks. So I did pay thirty dollars for it. It is um, a nice little find, and if worst case scenario doesn't sell, when it gets hot, I can just sit there and you know let the wind blow in my hair. 
Uh, we have one more thing, and I didn't pay any money for this. My grandmother actually gave it to me. And I'm gonna try to... Oh, it's heavier than the... Oh. This is special to me because it was my grandmother's, because uh, it was in my grandparents' house for a long time, but it is a clock. It's a clock that was handmade by my great, great, great grandfather. Um, it do does no longer work, she says. It was initially just a self-winding clock that they had redone that you could plug in. And um, the plug looks very similar to the other one. Very old. Uh, I'm going to plug it in later. See if I can get it to work. The housing unit has come off the back of it. I can still pull the mechanism to wind it. But it looks like it, it needs Jesus or a watch smith. It's very cool, very heavy. Um, that's from the 1800s, apparently. I really don't know. It doesn't have a date on it. Especially it was handmade by my great-great-great-grandfather. It's very cool. I'm going to look it up, see if I can find anything like it. I don't use WorthPoint because WorthPoint is expensive and a waste of time. Because if you can't do your own research, I mean, why are you reselling? It's part of the fun. Exactly. Um, it's really cool. Worst case scenario, I mean, it's metal. All of it's metal. So I could scrap it, but I don't think I want to do that. I like to get it fixed if I can't scrap it. Or scrap it. If I can't sell it, fix it, and then uh, put it on the mantle or something. Can you hold that? It's very heavy. I guess I'm just weak. Here, someone break your bag. But yeah, that's really it. Um, it was really cold this morning, like 32 degrees. 40. It was colder that this morning when we got up. No, it was 38 at 7 and I went back to bed. So I wasn't about to get up and go out garage sale at 7 o'clock when it was 38 degrees. Um, but yeah, I hope next weekend it's warmer. Um, I'm still trying to do a lot of local deals, but people don't really like it when you offer them half price of the stuff that they're asking more than retail for. So, What are you going to do? Mm -mm. Buy stuff at garage sales. <laughs> there's stores. There's stores. Flea markets. Rob people at 7 Eleven in the parking lot. That's a joke, lawyers. That's a joke. Okay. That's it for us today. Um, we hope you had a good Saturday. Um, I know we did. It's not over yet. We got a lot of stuff to clean up and list. So, um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great afternoon, great day, great morning, great bar mitzvah, for God's sakes. I don't know. She's trying not to laugh. <laughs> But uh, everyone here in Dallas, Texas, we'll see you next time.